folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to The Last of Us Part 2. We're currently on our way to the aquarium. That's where it's over that way. Which is where we believe Abby is currently hiding out and where we think Tommy may be going to try and get hold of her as well. It's a lovely day. We're here with Jesse. I am Jesse's girl. Oh, sorry, I'll stop that. <laughs> I promise I won't do it again this video. Let's try through here. We take these guys out and steal their boat. Oh, yeah, we saw some people sneak past on a boat. So we're going to try to steal it so we have a good way to get to the aquarium. Hopefully it's a small crew. Jesse, my friend, we've murdered like 500 people so far. I don't think we have to worry about this anymore. Hmm. How many food do I? Uh, no, we're okay on food. Got good health. A little poke around. Oddly enough, I actually have a ton of materials right now. I don't need anything, seemingly. Actually, you know what I need? That's the one thing I don't have. I've got three of everything except tape, and tape is the one that I want the most. We'll make a med kit just because I am finding a lot of materials out here. And that that right there is no enough the med kit paid for itself, so may as well. Um gun wise, what am I feeling? The rifle's okay. Um just because we're inside, I'm gonna get the shotgun ready as well. Hey Jesse, calm down. <laughs> There's no way there's not infected down here. No way. This is wrecked. I don't say. Here, yeah, infected, 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 infected. I need a better name for them. Infected doesn't roll off the tongue. I just said something. Teamwork makes the dream work. Oh, he just he just dives right in there. No hesitation. This way, come on. I would be so bad here. Like I said before, I'm really bad at having my eyes open underwater. I I just die. I would be dead now. <laughs> I would get here and I would die. Whoa. Like this part. Tommy. Shit. You four, take the land bridge to the marina. The rest of you, we hold here and wait for orders. We're supposed to wait here while our guys are being sniped? We have our orders. We'll have more than enough people to take care of one sniper. It must be Tommy, right? And he's at the marina, which I assume is. Hello? <laughs> which I assume is uh, by the aquarium. I would also be dead here. Lots of places I would be dead. <laughs> Come on, Ellie. There you go. Jesus Christ. The best way to help Tommy is to go after Abby. You do this, I'm not saving your ass again. I really hope you make it. Jesse is very much in the right here. Ellie, love, you've been blinded by your desire for revenge. Tonight? I don't know. Control the perimeter. I don't want 
I'm trying to find a good way up. Let me go this way. So one of that as well. There's people bloody everywhere. <laughs> I'm getting spotted and I never even know who by. That felt risky, but I'm fine. <clears throat> like, who who was seeing me right then? Uh, oh, there's people over there. They're, they are actually everywhere. You make enough air, uh, sound, sir. <clears throat> Ellie is staring straight at me. That's very disconcerting. Right, one down. Many, many to go. One over there is sort of bloody hell, they are everywhere. Just like that. Just like that, Ellie. Miles? Just like that. Mars is dead, bro. Someone on my left. That's three down. Four, three. Three, I think. <clears throat> okay, where's everyone else? I know there's at least one, two over on that side, I believe. There's one over there on the right as well. a bit far away. You know what I'd love? A silencer for the rifle. I'm not in vision right now, am I? No. Okay, I'm gonna go back this way. I think there's someone up there. Oh, it just heard someone. Kathy's dead. The fuck Kathy is this? dead. Guard? Oh, there we go. There we go. Wait for it. I'm a little annoyed that first shot didn't land, I'm not going to lie. Hey. <clears throat> but hey, I haven't been caught yet. Maybe I can uh, bow this guy. Mm, there's two over there. I'm determined to be stealthy for once. Absolutely bloody everywhere. Come okay, on, beautiful. Gotcha. Yeah, another silencer. <laughs> I only got one bullet left, but I'm gonna want it anyway, right? How many of them is there left? I've killed what five so far? Six. I need to get the retention. I don't think that's gonna do it. Um, I hear one more. They're just slowly all coming over here, seemingly. Yeah. Fuck off. Someone up there. Okay, so there's at least one upstairs. I'm getting some weird audio crackling on my end. I'm just gonna one sec. See if that fixes it. I'd like to I'd like to move upstairs. Oh, oh, they've come down. Oh, 
Is that enough game? <laughs> How many people do you need me to murder? It's been so many. There's someone up there. There's someone up there. They are everywhere. There's at least two on the upper levels. Despite having killed 500 of the bloody so and so's. I'm gonna move up. I thought there was a staircase here, actually. I've greatly misinterpreted the situation. Da 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 On the plus side, I do feel like a ninja, which is nice. I will come back and do some looting. I just want—I want to clear the area first, really. I'm not gonna get caught. I'm gonna kill every single one of them without getting found. That's the goal. I know that the knee here, though, right? There's one down there. Okay, I haven't been caught yet. That's fine. They saw him die, but. Oh! The trap here. Son of a bitch. Now I've been caught. <laughs> She's over there. You can dance with me, baby, but if you want to play when I've got the shotgun out, you know, that's not going to go well for you, I'm just saying. Ellie, turn around. Thank you. <laughs> Bloody hell, there's so many of them. I was going to be cheeky there and pull it off. I didn't pull it off. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I think that first shot would get be a kill if I had the damage upgrade, which is kind of why I want it. How many are there? Seriously. That's got to be near the end, right? Oh, he's going to come up now. You know I'm here, buddy. I only have the shotgun left. <laughs> nice try. We well, want a nice try. <laughs> it worked exceptionally well. This is actually ideal for me. You do the first off really stealthily, and then you get some nice. Fun to kill towards the end. It's a good combo. There's at least one more. Right over there. Well, that is a rough position for me given my uh, currently available weapon. Can I make a. Uh... Yeah. I'm a little nervous to do anything right now. I don't think he knows I'm here. That? <laughs> Still doesn't know I'm here. Oh. Ah, ah. Alright. 
Is that all of them? Right. Vote. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, now we can do some looting. That was uh That was that was, that was pretty good. I burnt through a lot of ammo, but yeah, I don't I don't think you're gonna do that without burning through a lot of ammo. I could have probably gone for more melee kills. Which isn't something I do that often. I stealth melee kills, I mean. No, that was fun though. Lots and lots of stealth kills and then some pretty nice kills like charging in with the bottle and stuff like that. Yeah, felt good. Felt good. What have we got? We have shells. I can craft arrows. That's something. But I really do want to scout this entire area. Pretty thoroughly. Before we get on the boat. Let's see what we can find. Alright, we'll do this right hand side first. There we go. Volva bullet. Um, no. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> you never know, folks. You never know. You know? I really can't climb up there. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I meant to get in there. It's a nice thought, though. But here. Yeah. Ooh, three rifle shells and three pistol bullets. Very nice. I mean, the game should stock you up in this scenario. You know, it's it's a big fight, lots of enemies. There has to be some ammo available at the end of the day. That's a cheeky little route, isn't it? I've been down here. Is this the way I came in? I don't think so. More bullets. More bullets over there, I think. Yeah, oh no. That's still pretty good. Something crumbling nearby and it's freaking me out a little bit. <laughs> Shush! I've killed everything, okay? Let's be chill about this. Mecha, which I, yeah, I don't need at all. Did I actually take any damage in that? I don't know. Another pistol bullet. Do, 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 do. Come on, load me up, baby. Load me up. Do I want to go over there? You never know. You never knew. I don't think I'm going to get over there, though. No. I'd like some more of my arrows back, frankly. It doesn't happen that often. You just... You, you can't... Get all of them back, seemingly. I think you probably get about 50% back on average. But it's harder in big fights like this because I don't know where they are. You know, I don't know where to go look for them. They're out there somewhere. I like to think I've set them free a little, set them free a little bit. You know, I'm gonna go live their best lives now, free from the constraints of Ellie's bow. Nice. Right. I think the shotgun is my favourite gun in the game. I don't think it's the best gun in the game because it's hard to use in a lot of scenarios, but as an emergency last minute weapon in, in terms of just sheer how satisfying it is to use, yeah, the shotgun's pretty great. And already I'm thinking, well, is that really the point? Because the game goes to great lengths to make sure the people you're killing are in a great... I know where to go, game. Don't worry about it. I'm in a great deal of pain, you know. It really does... They, they want you to know that these people have suffered. I mean, look at that guy, Jesus. I'll just click it so it goes away. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, see, this is why I had to come back. Got all those bullets. Can't miss out on that. And yet, I find immense enjoyment from blowing people up with the shotgun, essentially, so I don't know if it's quite working out. And I'd say I say that isn't the game, it's, it says something about me instead, but it's not really. I think a lot of people, that you know, there is something to be said about satisfying gunplay. And the games do go to great lengths to make guns satisfying and enjoyable to use. Whether it's good that so much of games and our enjoyment of games is relying on guns in the first place is a whole other kettle of fish, but we're going to get into that now. I keep meaning to Google what a kettle of fish is. I know it's a saying, and I know it's because... 
a kettle would have been something at least slightly different in the past. Maybe you just used to boil fish. You can poach fish, that's kind of the same thing. I think we are pretty done. Um, I'm feeling good. I'm going to do some reloading quickly. Six pistol, two revolver. Uh, five rifle, eight shotgun. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Might be something around here. So I definitely used an arrow or two in this area, but God knows where I don't be. Make sure the shotgun's reloaded. There we go. I love that. That is a really nice animation. The way she kind of... It sounds weird, but the way she falls into the water and then sinks down a little bit, but you feel this kind of pressure pushing you back up. It, it feels very realistic. It's great. Alright, I'm going to say we're gun. We're gun. Let's go. Off to... Uh... Nice. I was getting a drink. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, da, 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 da. Uh, oh my god, it's like the Jurassic Park ride! Do, 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 do. Steady. Ah, screw steady, I'm not about that life. Here we go! Also, why is the city flooded this badly? Does that make any sense? Like, I can't imagine the city usually floods like this, right? And why would the infection cause it? I guess the damage to the buildings, maybe there's a dam in the area, something like that. Hmm. Has allowed the city to flood more than usual? I'd be curious as to what the reasoning is, because I suspect Seattle doesn't do this that often. Yeah. Oh, we're going into the building, I love that. Very cool. Very creepy. Please go through. Whee! I appreciate this immensely. <laughs> as long as it's downhill all the way. I'm gonna look. Now what? Hmm. Right. Oh, hello. Can you take me over there? Combo, what you called? WG2425. I should call you Vogel. You me, Vogel, we got this. Alright. Vogel, you've betrayed. Oh. Oh, I can locate the boat. Okay. Vogel, what are you doing? <laughs> I thought the water was much cheaper. I need to put something under there, right? No? Alright, cool. Well, let's go have a little explore anyway. Looks like a place that's definitely going to have loot. Since I uh, don't have to come over here, technically. Oh, that little crack of lightning and thunder. Can I actually see the lightning? I want to see if the lightning and the thunder are timed differently. That may be... Oh, hello. Beth, if you're reading this, then I'm toast. I hope it wasn't the scarf fuckers, but some blaze of... Wait. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. Bigger hope you should remember where we hit the stash. Code is 701264. Let me just write that down. Yeah, I've got a little... Now I'll use my, I'll use my pad. 70... 1264. Now it's not necessarily. <laughs> Sorry, it makes me happy. Abby, I begged you to stop. You brought this on yourself. 
I'm pretty sure this whole area is optional, right? So maybe the safest route here then. Okay. Where's this go? It's looking promising down there. Make sure I didn't miss anything up here. Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's go. Off we go. We have alcohol. Nothing. Nothing. A safe. Fantastic. Let's have a little hook inside here first. A couple more materials. Nothing too extravagant, but we have a safe. We're looking for 701264. That number again is 701264. Come on down. For it. I was a bit faint that time. Off we go. We have 17 pills. That alone is pretty darn good. Seven building pieces, which is okay. Two revolver and full. Oh, full. Interesting. Can't craft anything, can I? That would use it. No. All right. How are we doing on pills? 25. We need 40 to get our arrow crafting. I'd say that was pretty productive. Good stuff. Just want to try it out. <clears throat> Here we go. Ooh. Whee! It's like those river rapid rides you go on at theme parks. I love it. Probably less exciting for Ellie. I think part of you, no matter how plotted or how uh, serious the situation, part of you would love it. I'm a boast dad. Damn it. I wonder if that just happens every now and again, randomly. I'm wondering if I should be stopping to explore these buildings. <laughs> oh, hello. Jesus, look at that. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> that track has been obliterated. Like, by what, though? They did bomb the city, didn't they? Is that the idea? Oh, there's lights over there. Alright, Ellie, I think we need to... Uh, we slow it down here. Damn it. Yeah, they're not fighting me, are they? Seraphites and wolves are fighting. Well, I'm gonna let them kill each other as much as humanly possible. As I go for a little swim. <laughs> I can get up here. Might be a good, like, sniping spot. Not that I can snipe at all with my current setup, but hey, oh, this is pretty cool, though. I get some loot up here. Alright, it's quite and down. Ooh, creaky, creaky, creaky. Hello. That's how I get down. It's in there. 
Ah. Hmm. There's, oh, right, okay. Hmm, let me think about this. I want to try and find a way into there, right? Is it like last time where, yeah, see, there's an entrance there. You reckon I can, if I just throw it off the edge here, I can swing around? I was trying to hook it originally over this here, but it didn't really work. If I X, can I swing to the right? That's what I think. Not really. Oh. Um. Okay. There we go. <coughs> Felt a little risky, not gonna lie, but we made it. Whatever. I'm glad. I'm glad for the pop of that. I would not have remembered that at all. Oh, nice. Definitely worth it. Uh, how many is that now? 42, baby? Very cool. Okay, now we can start going on more top. So the only one we're not doing is crafting, because this is all rubbish. Imo. But this one, I mean, it's not. It's just, I think it's all dependent on your personal preference for what items you most want to use. For me, I want to make arrows more than I want to make smoke bombs. But I also do want to improve my molotovs. I think that's going to be pretty cool as well. Rifle. Rifle. Very nice. And a note. I'm getting spotted here. Misha. Heard a lot about Misha. Got word that you were placing me. Wanted to give you a few pointers about this nest. The scars are sneaky bastards, so this is a wolf hideout. The scars are sneaky bastards. Don't just watch the street check. Street check. The rooftops. They got their own sharpshooters. Keep the infected alive. When the scars cross, you have to deal with them. Once they reveal their positions, take them out. Took a pair of cultists and now watching the infected devour their bodies. It's fucking glorious. Don't get cornered. Maybe the side will be long and your death be swift. Right. So I do have a problem here. And I'm not equipped for this situation at all. <laughs> like, I'm not built for this long range kind of dalliance. Like, I think this could be really cool, but. I don't know if I can. I'm tempted to try, but I'll be honest, it feels risky. Like, I don't know if I can even get them from this far away, you know? I'll tell you what, we're gonna save it. I'm gonna save it. I'm, I'm learning. I don't want to waste all my arrows in the process. And it's a surprisingly quick. Wait, what? That looks my arrow. Yeah, I don't. I don't think this is a route for me. I think if I had a thingy on the rifle, I'd go for it. But Alonzi. Down, girl, down. I see at least two of them. You're proper staring me out, aren't you, buddy? Um. Oh, my God, hello. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, they seem to know where I am. That's pretty good. <laughs> Not used a Molotov in bloody ages. All right, are you gonna move? Yes, you up there. Thank you. He's gonna come down now, I think. Just want to move around over there. Yeah, the mortal took out two of them instantly. And they don't know where it was. Yeah, they've got a rough idea. Oh. 
Do they th wait, they think I'm a wolf? Alright, so the scars seem to have taken over this area. Assumedly. One up there. <laughs> we good? Ooh. That was the game's way of telling me. Good job, Vagrant. God, these people burn out super quickly considering the whole environment is uh, soaking wet. I suppose if they... Because you throw a Molotov, right? And you don't just spread the fire, though. You spread the, uh, the alcohol. So I guess that kind of covers some and that burns regardless to an extent. Hey, that was good. That was good. I didn't technically get caught, I just want to say. <laughs> technically. Let's have a little look upstairs. Hey, I'm all tough. Nice. It's like they knew. I do only have one arrow, but that's all right. Getting quite a lot of everything else. Feeling pretty good arrow-wise. Feeling good, man. To quote Witch Doctor from Dodo. <coughs> Jules. Lots of notes for Jules. Read. Flip. Jules, I hope you can forgive me. We were soaking cold, hungry when we reached your encampment. A surfaced woman took care of us. Hot food, blankets, she radiated love, treat me like one of their own. Her name was Karen. The plan was to board the boat and head for Haven the next morning. Then gunfire. Karen's head exploded from the bullet. Her blood splattered all over me. We scattered as Zachary was shot. It was our people, two wolves. They walked right by me. I think they thought I was their prisoner. And then something in me snapped. I pulled out my pistol and shot them in the back of the head. Zachary sturdy. We'll pull through. We buried Karen and said a prayer for her. Zachary gave me a new name, Emma. He says it means truth. I shaved my head and cut my face. That's a that's a sudden turnaround you've had there, buddy. Oh, hello. That's a hell of a machete. <laughs> From, hmm, I hate them, to, hmm, I love them. Let's join them forever. I wonder if we just killed Emmett. There she is. You again. I wonder if we'll ever meet her. I'm going to assume so, right? It'd be a bit weird if we didn't. It's also not that surprising. In an apocalypse, you would expect a lot of people to turn to religion, you know? People turn to religion all the time. In an apocalypse, seems like the prime time for it. Okay, nice. Apocalypse is prime time religion, so. And then again, for some people, it's the opposite. You know, anyone who was religious already, some people will start to doubt the existence, I don't know why I'm talking about this, but some people will start to doubt the existence of said god, because he's essentially forsaken them into this apocalyptic world. I guess it depends how religious you are in the first place. Speaking as someone who is not even 1% religious. And that doesn't mean I don't believe in god. Just saying. I don't believe in god. God with capital G. Funny idea. Kind of preposterous. But, I'm not against the idea of a higher power. I think that's important. Even scientifically minded people should be open to the idea. Not to say that scientifically minded people can't believe in God, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying. If you're scientifically minded, you're like, no, God hates science, or, you know, science wouldn't put faith in a God kind of thing. Not, okay, yeah, maybe not. I don't know why we're talking about it, sorry. <laughs> yeah, maybe not God, capital G, you know, old white guy with a big old beard sitting on a cloud somewhere, but... In terms of a force beyond our own and a higher power, I don't think science is ever going to be shut off to that possibility. It's a good thing about science, right? It changes and it adapts. It's actually why I like science in the first place over religion, because religion doesn't really adapt. It's one of the big problems it has. All religions, essentially, struggle with adaptation. You get very outdated views, but thankfully it is changing a little bit. The current Pope, for example, has some problems, but is at least more open to various things. I mean, the Catholic Church still hides countless paedophiles and child abusers and takes an obscene amount of money and all this kind of jazz, but that's neither here nor that. Where am I going? <laughs> I think I've explored all the upstairs. 
I might miss to get back on my boat, actually. Maybe. Which one's my boat? The fact that it's still there makes me think it is the, uh, the idea for the area. I felt good. Got a lot of loot. What was that music all about? <laughs> what was that all about? Did you guys hear that? Like a... The game is definitely building something. It's got this very creepy atmosphere going on right now. Very dramatic. <clears throat> you know, if there's like a final boss fight in this game, it would be after this, basically. Now, I don't think that's what's coming, don't get me wrong, but... In other games, that's what I would expect here. Alright, looking good. The game has a lot of these, like, points of no return. It does it quite a lot, where it stops you coming back the way you came. Like, that was one just there. The boat will not go back that way. I don't think, by the looks of it, anyway. I don't know how I feel about it. It's kind of like the Slippy Hill from earlier. Couldn't go back to uh, the rest of Seattle. Whee! Oh, it's an arcade. Alright, out we pop. Hmm. He's shock on time. You never know if it's going to be infected or humans. There's, yeah, sometimes it's a mix, but that is definitely rarer. Which it should be, you know, because it makes it more special, but... <gasps> Ten pills, you cheeky little blighter, aren't you? Who's a good girl? I am. I'm a good girl. Thank you. Uh, how am I doing on pills? Twelve. Okay. But I did get the important one. I got the, the crafting upgrade. <laughs> we need 28 more to get some beastly molotovs. What's this called? Ski ball, is it? Something like that. I spent a lot of time in arcades, but didn't really play ski ball. I played the Jurassic Park game over and over again. And time crisis. Of course, it have been too easy. Oh right, that's what we're trying to open. I thought there was um, people in the area. Kind of panicked. Okay, let's figure out how to get that gate open. Whoa. God damn. Girl, you have been shredded. Jesus Christ. Oh, hello. Music, stop! What are you doing? Holy shit. She already fought. Yeah, what's going on here? Is this just fighting between the scars and the, the wolves? Is there something else I have to be worried about? Because I am? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna. crafting things do I have? Is that way to check? Hmm. I, said, I don't want to go to the bench in case someone attacks me. <laughs> They've made me paranoid. Oh, I'm three off! I'm three away from the damage upgrade. That's very upsetting. We'll see if we can find three more before we leave. That'd be really cool. Oh, I don't like this at all. Right, this is obviously important. I've been having a children's birthday party. Imagine that, you're like a ten-year-old's birthday party. And that's when it all goes to hell. I can't remember which zombie film I watched, but there's at least one zombie film that did that. Oh, which was it? Was it Dawn of the Dead? Did they show a flashback, or was it Shaun of the Dead taking the mic? It might have been. 
I definitely remember a flashback. It's like a ch not a flashback, like a newsreel or something of a children's birthday party. Oh, come on. And they got attacked and then zombified. I don't know. Oh, shit. oh no. Oh no. How are you not dead? You, oh my god, that was close. Okay. <laughs> Back to that damn Ferris wheel. Well, I guess we found out what was doing all the damage. Oh, I clipped myself a little bit. It's not the end of the world. That was fun. <laughs> Goddamn blowers. They are tough. I don't know exactly how many that was, but that was a lot of shotgun shells. Seven or eight or something like that. And I don't think I missed on any of them. Maybe one. And then explosive to finish him off. I was going to swap to a Molotov at the end. That's what I was trying to do next. You sad bitch. What was that? <laughs> I think that was me. As I walked over something, it kind of had a delayed reaction, but bloody hell! <laughs> like, what the hell is this? Oh, that's the, the car. I think it's still got the circle for pushing. I do not like this area. I tell you that for free. I do not like it down here. It's just such a Last of Us thing to do to, okay, we're good, we're safe, and then chuck like a second bloater at me or something. Be a bit mean, but it wouldn't surprise me. Oh, playing card. Kazakh Bright. <clears throat> Looking very cool, Kazakh Bright. Well done. Kudos on your Kazakh Brightness. Aww. Snack. Little, little bit on edge, I'm not gonna lie. Just a little bit. I suspect I am okay. But you can never be that sh Ooh, 12, very nice. 16 to go. You can just never be that sure, you know? Looks like we're pretty good. Down we go. Alonzi. Okay. Am I not? Hmm. Oh, that'll just happen there, but okay. 
It's about to get super rapido out there. Rapido, rapido! Yeah, we haven't nearly made it to the first wheel, finally. Oh. Well, the aquarium should be noticed by the first wheel. Are they bodies? What are they? Are they signs or are they bodies? I can't tell. They look like punching bags, I'm not gonna lie. Oh! Oh my god, this is crazy! Look at this! This is amazing! Like, out in the ocean, and it's proper... Oh, I love this. I ain't gone the wrong way, though. Oh, no, I'm not. Not the time, boaty boy. This alley. I believe in you, girl. Come on. Oh no! I think maybe when the waves come in. Yeah, I'm actually taking damage. I think when the wave comes in like that, you're meant to dive underwater. That's right. Yeah, very cool. Girl must be absolutely shattered. <laughs> Can I just crawl under here and be happy for a while, please? Made it. Okay. Hey, where are you? I'll see this going well. I'm nervous for Ellie. Like, I genuinely am. I don't want anything bad to happen to her, but the game has put her on this path of revenge and is driving home that this is not a good path to be on. Which is fair enough, you know, revenge is rarely a good idea. But I'm worried at what lengths the game will go to, to make that point clear. You know, we've already lost Joel, I don't really want to lose both of them. Oh boy, here we go. It's very cool though. What do we have in here? We have blue tangs, clownfish, dogfish, puffer, Dogfish, dogface puffer, and blueface angelfish. Very cool. I really like this. And here we had tuxedo damselfish and a vermilion sea bass, and what's that? Bicolor parrotfish and goliath grouper. It's not that surprising none of the fish are alive, I suppose. Over here we had. Royal Grammars and Thorny Seahorses and doo -doo -doo, Tuxedo Damselfish and Olive Ridley Turtles. Very cool. Oh, I can go for that. Uh, Orchard Dottybacks, Harlequin, Harlequin what? Harlequin Tusk, Flame Rass, Achilles Tang. <laughs> the Tang of Achilles. Oh, that's creepy over there. The whole place is creepy. What if I can smash the tanks? <laughs> Oh. There you go, we have an answer. <laughs> oh, Ellie. Right, so this is like the staff area. Oh, 
of stuff. Oh. Aquarium stuff, isn't it? <laughs> I'm a fishy! Gloop. 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 Just to sell the point, really. It's a big old tank. There's been some big fish in here. See the three I need to upgrade my gun. <sighs> Where the fuck are you? I don't know, but Abby really did pick the creepiest place to hide. I gotta admit, this would be a hell of a place to hide as well. Like, if you learn the layout of this place, and other people were... <laughs> it's funny that I'm saying this. If you learn the layout of this place, and other people were coming to try to find you, as is the case right now, you could... Yeah, you could, you could do a lot of damage, I think. <sighs> Shit. Hmm. Did I expect that? Oh, that's not that soul. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Keep the light off as much as possible. Now, Abby is hiding out from the wolves. I don't really remember why. I don't think we know for sure why she's hiding out. Doggo! Doggo! Dog? Oh, I don't like this. God, fuck happened here. I mean, if she didn't know before that I'm here, she's gonna know now, right? <laughs> After that. Changing tax. <laughs> I hear noise. People don't come back on that island. How many times has Abby risked her life for you? She chose this. I'm not fucking going there. Then don't. Go back. Where's Abby? You're that girl from Jackson. Tell me where she went. How do we know you won't kill us? We give her what she wants and we're dead. You guys can survive this. I just need her. Bullshit. You. 
Come here. Fucking get over here! Point to where she is on this map. And then you... It better fucking match up. What are you doing? She's probably dead anyway. It is not worth it. Stop! We can talk Back about it. Back the fuck up! Point to where she is. Fucking Christ! <laughs> Just dead, Ellie. Shame. Tell me where Abby is. Shame. Where the fuck is she? <sighs> yeah, I shouldn't have stopped the mail. She kind of just badly reacted, but oh, she's pregnant. Yeah, I forgot about that, but. Right, seems she really turned some lights off. She's trying to sleep. <laughs> it seems like a good time to end things. So I want to talk about that very quickly. <clears throat> I took problem in the episode before last, would be called Nora, in that Ellie had like a very strong reaction to killing Nora. Now, it wasn't a usual kill because the woman was sort of begging for a life and defenseless, blah blah blah, and she kind of had to torture her a little bit to get information, but it still felt unearned. That one with the pregnancy makes a lot more sense. That one, I think, ties into Ellie's reaction a lot better. We are seeing this kind of descent. <clears throat> this is my problem with it. I'm, uh, the good thing and the bad thing. So that makes a lot more sense with the pregnancy because A, at the end of the day, when you kill the mother, look, she's killed the unborn, the fetus, the child, whatever. We're not getting into that again, but at the end of the day, she's doomed that to never be born and to die, blah, 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 blah. And also, of course, Dina is pregnant. And I think that's probably the main reason that hit was so particularly hard. You know, she's killed someone who's like Dina, and that's why we focus on Dina as we wake up. So Ellie's reaction, the shock and the pain and the what have I done, and, you know, the kind of slight realisation maybe that this revenge route she's taking is going to lead to a lot of scenarios like this, that one feels earned. My problem with the last one is still the same problem with the last one. Now, the game is trying to sell us on this kind of... I think it's kind of like a slight descent into madness by Ellie. Not in a, in a true she's going to go crazy, crazy way, but 
she's losing more and more of herself to this revenge fueled quest. You know, it started off, it made a lot of sense. She kind of just, she's going to leave. She didn't want to risk anyone else. Earlier on in this video, when she split from Jesse, you know, went off on her own. Um, you know, she was pretending, she told Jesse originally the plan was to get Tommy and then get the hell out of here. And then when the opportunity to get Tommy came up, and the opportunity to go for Abby instead came up, that's, you know, that's how the options were presented. She chose to go for Abby rather than Tommy, so clearly she was lying. And she's losing so much of herself into this pursuit to kill Abby, basically. The problem with it is that we killed so many people right off the bat. I think that's the issue. I think if there'd maybe... I don't know, then you risk the game getting a bit samey, I guess, but I think if there's less wolf soldiers and more infected from the start of the game, you know, like, many less people, if anything, maybe one or two, you know, and it could have been more dramatic, but I think having slaughtered, like, a hundred of the bloody guys to get to that first point makes it feel less earned, you know? Like, at the end of the day, she's taken, like, a hundred lives, human lives, it shouldn't be that dramatic. The pregnancy is a little bit different, but that's why the first one was a problem. Um, I just think it's interesting. We can analyse games and stuff like that. I've heard a lot of negative stuff about this game, all focused around the story. Now, obviously, we have plenty of games still to go. We're probably about halfway through something like that, maybe a little bit more at a push, based on just how long I know the game is. I think it's 25, 26 hours, and we are taking our time and exploring and stuff like that. But... Um, the story has barely been a factor. Let's, let's look at the story up to this point. Right, so it was pretty story heavy at the start. Joel gets killed by the wolf members. And Ellie sees Abby and says, right, Abby and the rest of the wolves, I'm going to go take them down. That's the premise of the game, essentially. We head out into Seattle. We found out Dean is pregnant. We get a little bit more story via the back story. Uh, we get a little bit of knowledge about the wolves, you know, the pregnancy, and Abby's gone missing, and this whole kind of battle between the wolves and the Seraphites going on, the wolves and the Scars, they've got their little war going on, and we've got sort of, I wouldn't say plot story, but sort of world story, world lore, viral, the notes we found, you know, about the, the Scar members and the wolf members and why they changed and, you know, what's been going on in Seattle as this war started to break out. But in terms of actual story, between that start bit and now, not really much has changed. Ellie is still going down, hunting after Abby. We've killed a few people along the way. You know, Tommy came out here, Jesse came out here, Jesse had the thing in the pregnancy. It's a decent amount of story, but we've been playing for like 16 hours now. <laughs> My point is the actual plot of the game has barely moved forward in those 16 hours, because so much of it has been pure gameplay. That, up till what I've experienced so far, the complaints of the story seem a bit silly. I think a lot of people didn't like Joel dying. I'm okay with that. And I'm not. I'm upset about that. But as a game mechanic, I think it's okay. I think they've stumbled a little bit, as I've mentioned already, with Ellie's reaction to the death a couple of episodes ago. But beyond that, there really hasn't been much in the way of story. It's been a very gameplay-focused experience. Now, I'm quite happy about that, because I think the, the basal gameplay... Nothing particularly original or unique, you know, it's like any other, you know, you can go play Tomb Raider, it's largely the same. But it's very solid, and it's enjoyable, and the environments mix up a lot, and it's it's kept me interested. But the actual story has barely moved. So, am I expecting in the next ten hours or so, like, a plethora of huge story decisions that are going to make me dislike the game or like the game? Is it all going to get much more controversial in the next ten hours or so? I don't know, but that's kind of what it feels like. Because I find it hard to believe people who've played the game up to this point could have a particularly big problem with what's gone down so far, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's not it's not perfection, it's not the best game I've ever played, but I'm enjoying it, you know, I wouldn't say otherwise. So, I'm just curious. Anyways, I wanted a little run at the end there. Thank you for joining me! We'll be back next time. Cheers, as always. Bye-bye.